Hi, thanks for joining me. I've come back again to a different field. It's just beyond the field I did in the last video with the Gary's XP Dias sonar program. I'm going to keep on the sonar and I'm going to go over that because I haven't done the field before and I've got an interesting comparison. I have to thank Nigel at Regton Limited very much for the opportunity to use and evaluate the 35 11 inch coil. We're going to do this field with the old 11 inch coil on Gary's XP Dias sonar and then on the next video that will be the X35 11 inch coil on Gary's sonar. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for joining me and let's go. Right, I'm on this sort of old stubble field I suppose we're looking at about 8 to 10 inches of stubble. Uh, not really done anything on this field really there is some construction going on over there that's why i'm allowed to do it because it's not been uh, looked after until that's all finished this may be the last time i'm going to use the old style 11 inch coil it's the piece of ground i intend to do the old 11 and versus the x3511 uh, comparison just to give you some idea so i'm going to go with this uh, with the old 11 inch on gary's xp diasona program and so it's fine. Thanks for joining me. Just a two or three finds in. Uh, rubbish really. The first two, a second one, or the third one, shall I say. Is 87, and the police say it is a coin. Nothing remarkable. It's a 1918 one penny. Or the George variety. So there you go. First coin on this bit of ground I've not really paid much attention to. Right, this field's not quite so lively as the other one. Uh, you sort of get half decent signals and good signals instead of rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. But I've just found one. This is the first outing for the, the new Garrett Carrot. And uh, I know it's in here somewhere. It's in there. Somewhere. Yep. Yeah. We have a coin, folks. Oh, a bit toasty. Yeah, it's got that horrible green clinkery stuff adhering to it. So I don't know what it is at the moment. Try and clean it up when I get back, but we wouldn't hold your breath. A coin of mystery. If I way back actually the truck, it's a very, very bitter. A very nice 80. And I'm pleased to say it's a coin. It's uh, 1886 Victoria Halfpenny quite a nice nick so there we go another coin for the bag I've just bent down and bust my sort of bum bag so I'll have to get a new one of those there we go all's good rightio that is a day now the bags bust the fines bags bust all my straps are broke, it's now decided to tittle down with rain. So the next time I'm on this bit of field, I will be on with the X35 11 inch and we'll see how it goes. I'll try and retrace my steps, see if that picks anything up, probably use uh, 27 kilohertz. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry it's been a bit of a washout, literally. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Okay, so that was probably the last time I'm going to use the old 11 inch coil. Uh, that's the field I'm going to go back on in the next video with the new X3511 inch, courtesy of Regton Limited. Thank you very much for the, giving me the opportunity to uh, try and test that coil. Much appreciated. Thanks for joining me and we'll just wash the, what we found. I think we found a penny and a half penny and some buttons as normal. Thanks for coming with me and we'll catch you again next time.